Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to my channel for another video. And today's video is my twin girls 10 month update. Ah, they're 10 months. Before I know it, they'll be 11 months and then it'll be that they'll be a year. Where has this time gone? But yes, so here they are. Like every video, I'm going to talk about how they're sleeping, how they are eating, and their overall development and milestones. So with that in mind, I'm just going to crack on. Sleeping wise, they have both gone back to sleeping through the night. Now that they've got over being poorly and everything that was the horribleness of all December, they go down to bed between 7 and 7.30 and they stay asleep 9 times out of 10 the whole night until... I'll say about anywhere between 6.30 and 7.30 in the morning is when they will then wake up. They don't both necessarily wake up at the same time. And sometimes, depending on how much one of them has eaten for dinner, depends on whether or not they wake up during the night because they're still hungry. But other than that, both of them do sleep through the whole night. Yeah, don't you? Yes. And you? <laughs> Feeding wise, they are on three bottles a day of six, which then becomes like seven ounces um, and things. One when they wake up in the morning, one way when they wake up from their lunchtime nap, I suppose. Um, and then one before they go to bed, as well as having three meals a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. <laughs> She's going to eat me now. Um, as well as snacks mainly the snacks are between lunch and dinner um <laughs> just because it'll end up being they'll have lunch about one and obviously dinner's at about 5 30 so sometimes around 3 3 30 they'll have just a couple of melt away um crisps or snacks something that they can have yeah <laughs> development wise they are both still um teething and things like this, lots of drool and things like that, but not a lot of discomfort in regards to teeth, and certainly no teeth showing to speak of. Um, both of them are starting to kind of look like they want to crawl. Um, they aren't up on their knees yet. They're not doing the on their knees, on their hands, wobbling and then falling flat. But they both are starting to be like, on a, in a frog position on the floor, thank you, where you can tell they're trying to pull their knees up under themselves, but they're just keeping their hands there while they're doing it. So they are slowly getting there with crawling. Um, they are masters at getting from one side of the room to the other while rolling. This has become a quite dangerous thing. If you think you've left something completely out of the way on one side of the room and you blink or you turn away for 10 seconds, I sw obviously 10 seconds is an exaggeration, but that's how it feels like sometimes. I literally feel like I blink and they, they're they gone. So yes, rolling, they have definitely figured out that rolling is their form of transportation at the moment. So that's absolutely brilliant to watch. Um, sitting up wise, Miss Aria over here, she is stronger at sitting up than Miss Alyssa. Uh, she can do it for a good 30 seconds, minute. And she, she really does go for it. The only time she'll then tr tr fall over is normally when she goes to look behind her and things like this. So she is getting very good at it. Miss Alyssa can do it, but I just don't think she likes to. Um, because we'll try sitting her up and she'll do it. But then she'll just like roll, try as if she's rolling herself backwards. So obviously we have to catch her so she doesn't hit her head. But she just seems to prefer like being on her back or on her belly um, and things. So yeah, sitting up wise they are coming along with it. They still do lots of babbling and they both, again I swear it's only my ears because my husband Glenn has never heard them do this at all. But I swear that I'm starting to hear them say the M sound. Um, mum, 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 mum. So, mum, 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 mum. Yeah, hi. <laughs> um, but I repeat, that could just be wishful thinking and all in my head. 
they are becoming very aware of each other, themselves and um, everything around them as well. So seeing, just seeing like the everyday um, understanding the little bits that come out of them and things is beautiful and things to watch. Lastly, I've just gone and got my phone because this has their weights on it. I weighed them yesterday, uh, the day before they turned 10 months, um, and they weighed, Miss Alyssa weighed 16.2 pounds, so she's put on nearly a whole pound um, since feeling a lot better um, this month and things, and Miss Aria, you weigh 15 pound six. Sorry, yeah, she weighs 15 pounds six. So you, my little Miss Twin A, was born a whole pound bigger, is now the smaller twin. But if you've seen any of their other updates, that does fluctuate and they do seem to take it in turns as to who is pulling out ahead. So yes, we will just have to see how that keeps going for their other updates, but yes. That was my twin girls 10 month update. Wow. If you have any questions or there is anything that you would like to know about what they are up to and how they are and where they're at, please drop me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you and I will answer any and all questions if I'm able to. And yes, please, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, hi, I'm Hannah. These are my twin girls, Miss Aria over here and Miss Alyssa. <laughs> I'm daily vlogging at the moment with myself, my husband, our twins, as well as our older two children, as well as doing three bonus videos a week, like this one, going out on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. So please, if you would like to stick around to see what we are getting up to this year, please hit that subscribe button we would love for you to join us and yeah thank you guys so much again for watching and we will catch you next time bye